the Twelve Disciples It is common knowledge that Jesus had twelve disciples. Let's take a quick glimpse at who these twelve men were. It appears that a majority of these men were fishermen. Jesus was a traveling teacher, a rabbi, and it was common for teachers to have close disciples. But the disciples of a teacher were learned men, people who were educated, the opposite of your regular fisherman, a member of the working class who did not have the time nor the funds to pursue an education. By choosing these fishermen, Jesus was communicating that God's kingdom was available to all, not just to the learned religious elite. Last, let's take a look at two individuals who helped compose of Jesus' twelve disciples, Matthew and Simon. Matthew was a tax collector. Israelites saw tax collectors as traitors, for they collected taxes for the Roman Empire, which at the time exerted dominance over Israel. Simon was a zealot. The zealots were Israelites who strongly opposed Roman rule. Zealots were known for their sabotage and violence against Roman factions. You see, Matthew and Simon were natural enemies. Jesus chose these men to work, travel, and live together despite their hostility. During Jesus' ministry, these men put aside their differences and found unity in Christ. By choosing these men, Jesus was proclaiming to the world that only in God's kingdom can enemies join hands and call each other brother because of the peace that comes from God.